This question will be broken up into parts. This will be the first question we look at. Then there's a second question and a third question. So it says that a tourist from Japan arrives in East London on 26 March 2022 to tour some of the parts of the Eastern Cape for five days. He plans to use an average of 4,042 Rand and 19 cents per day. Yo, that guy's got a nice budget, okay? The tourist's first tour was a return trip from East London to Humansdorp. Okay, the tourist first tour was a return trip from East London to Humansdorp. Okay, so you went from East London uh, to Humansdorp and then back to East London because it's a return trip, okay? Uh, the conditions are as follow. The tourist paid for his petrol uh, on a rented car. The rented car is given with a full tank and must be returned with a full tank. The car rental fee rate is 182 cents per kilometer. Okay, then the distance from East London to Humansdorp, and then the cost of petrol is 19 rand 89 per litre at the time. The tourists opted for a Toyota Corolla 1.6 that uses 7 litres per 100. Okay, so they're giving us a whole bunch of information, uh, but let's see what they say here. Calculate the total Japanese yen he exchanged for the five-day use if the exchange rate between RSA and Japanese yen is given in the table below. Okay, so I don't think that has anything to do with the car. Uh, what that has to do with is that he plans to use this amount of money per day. Okay, and he did that for five days. So how much rand did he use in five days? Well, let's go work that out. So we can say um, 4042.19 multiplied by five days. Okay, so this dude used like 20,000. Oh, it could be a... Oh, no, it did say he. Okay, so 20,210... Uh, point nine five okay so that is how much money he used in the five days in five days but now we need to it says calculate the total japanese yen that he used for five days so we need to convert this to japanese yen now that means we're going to use this um currency conversion table okay now they're being complicated so check this out that we know that five rand will give us 37 point five one seven one five japanese yen so what would one rand give us well how would i turn this number into a one remember this is a zar and this is yen so what would one rand give you well to get this into a one you would divide this side by five and in mathematics what you do to the one side you do to the other side so one rand will give us seven point five oh three for three so for one rand you will be able to get that many japanese yen so what would happen if you have twenty thousand two hundred and ten so think sorry just think about that carefully for every one rand you have that is how many japanese yen you can get so if you have twenty thousand rand how would you work out your japanese yen well you could say twenty thousand two hundred and ten point nine five multiply by seven point five oh three four three Okay, and so this guy exchanged 151,651.45, if you round to two decimal places, uh, Japanese yen. So I'm just going to put a Y, uh, however they're doing that, a Y with two lines. This next question says, calculate the rental fee for the return trip between East London and Humansdorp, excluding, okay, so excluding petrol. So we don't have to take petrol into account. So then let's see how they do this. Okay, so the tourist paid for his petrol, blah, 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 blah. The rented car is given, okay, blah, blah, blah. Car rental fee, here we go, 182 cents per kilometer. And this is how far this guy's going to drive. But be careful, that is how far he will drive from East London to Humansdorp, okay? But remember that it is a return trip, so the guy has to come back home. So he's going to travel this distance twice. And so that's going to be 737.2 kilometers. Okay, now for every kilometer, they are going to charge you 182 cents. That that's not the petrol. That's just because you're using their car. Uh, you know, you're damaging their tires. You're using their engine. You're using the car. Uh, they have to charge you for that. Not that that's without the petrol. So you're driving. You you're being charged 182 cents uh, for every for every single kilometer that you drive. So you're going to multiply. Sorry, that's 182. And if you work that out. 
that's going to be 134170.4, and that is going to be in cents. But now let's convert that to Rand. So remember that one Rand is 100 cents. So we're going to have to divide this by 100. And so that's going to be 1,341 Rand and 70 cents. Now this question says, calculate the cost of petrol for the return trip above. Okay, so now they want to know the petrol cost. So the petrol cost is all going to be calculated uh, by using this number, this number, and this number. So stick with me, this might be quite interesting. Okay, so we need to first know how far this person's going to drive. So remember we already calculated that by saying, um, 368,6 multiplied by 2, and that was 737.2 kilometers. Okay, now this particular car uses 7 liters for every 100 kilometers. So I'm just going to say here, for every 100 kilometers, this car will use 7 liters of petrol. So as soon as it drives 100 kilometers, it will use 7 liters um, of petrol, okay? So what we can do then is see how, how far, how much would it use in one kilometer? So if you only drive one kilometer, so how could I get this to become a one? Well, you could divide it by 100. So, but what you do in maths to the one side, you have to do to the other side. So that means one kilometer will use 0 0.07 liters if you type that on your calculator. So think about that carefully. If your car drives one kilometer, it will use 0 0.07 liters of petrol. But how far did we drive? This is how far we drove. So how many liters did we use? Well, you would then say 737.2 multiplied by 0 0.07, okay? Because for every one kilometer, that's how many liters you would use. So if you drive this many kilometers, then you would just multiply those two numbers. And that would be 51.604 liters of petrol. Now, if you look at the petrol price, it is 19 rand, 19 rand and 89 cents for every single liter. So how many liters did we use? Well, we used 51.604. So to work out the price, you would say 51.604 multiplied by 19.89. And so that's gonna be 1,026 rand and 40 cents if you round to two decimal places.